Hello, Jen here with another layout for you guys. Today I have another new exciting series that a whole group of us ladies are going to be doing called Stretch the Sketch. So you can see here the promo that explains exactly what it is that this series is going to be about. We're going to use this sketch from Chamel and stretch it to make a two page layout. So I'm going to start my layout with this collection from Simple Stories. It's I think it's just called Dance, um, but as you can see, it's just this really cool, um, brightly colored, uh, I think they call them mini collections, or just like a smaller collection um, specifically for dance. And I don't know why I haven't used this yet, but I think I've had it for maybe a year. I don't think I've had it for two years, so maybe a year. Um, so I picked out a couple of photos from my daughter's recent uh, dance competition that she went to. She did really, really well, and so I wanted to make sure that I scrapped these photos while it was still fresh in our minds. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I think it's nice to be able to get some of those really good memories scrapped right away. Uh, so I showed you a little bit of the papers and sort of a general plan of what I'm going to do. And then I remembered that I had this paper here. Um, it's the Just Add Color Collection from Bella Boulevard. And sorry about that. I'm using a different um, camera today because I kind of smashed the screen on my phone. Uh, so my hubby is sending it off to get the screen fixed. And I'm using an old phone that he had. And it doesn't like all the white, obviously, because it's really overexposed. Um, and I definitely apologize for that. I'm going to brush through this painting really quickly. Um, I just basically wanted to show you that I pulled out this piece of paper and I thought it would be super clever if I painted five, six, seven, eight in the colors from the collection. So I have the little, a little card that I plan to use that just says dance that one there. You can see I use that to match the colors and now I have just this really fun piece of paper with those those five six seven eight numbers highlighted on it so I think that that was kind of a a fun touch and of course it means I get to add a little bit of mixed media onto the page which is always fun I love mixing colors and trying to get get things matched I think I did a pretty good job with these ones so I just want to try and figure out how I want this to sort of span across those two pages. And I don't normally do a lot of two page layouts. So I found that I was kind of stumbling around quite a bit with this one. Um, but I, th I think what I'm doing is a little bit different from what a lot of two page layouts are where I don't have matching papers on either side. I really wanted to use the black on both sides, but it meant that I wouldn't be able to use that really nice sort of rainbow pattern. Um, and this is the front and back of the same paper. So they match really well together. And I thought maybe it would be fun to just sort of have um, these two pages that are very different, but that actually sort of mirror each other a little bit. So that's the thinking. <laughs> here and I don't know I feel like this was a good kind of cop out for me I was able to make one full layout that is you know like a two page spread they each go together but at the same time I also sort of worked on two individual layouts so yeah <laughs> maybe a little bit of a cheat there but I think in the end it really works out nicely so you can see I'm starting to build the layers in in the sketch, there are two um, sort of mats or two basic layers behind the photos. And so that is what I'm starting to build up. And I'm just going to have that go kind of across both pieces. So instead of having that black word paper on the second side, I'm going to use this vellum with these gold squares. And I'm going to make it the same size, so that's sort of how they're mirrored. And then the number paper will span across both. So again, that ties the two of them together. Then I'm going to use this peach paper to mat 
the photos. It's not quite um, the same shade as the peach that's in this collection, but it's close enough and it's such a small matte that I think it's fine. I just really wanted to have something solid for the photos to sit on on top of that number paper. And then because I thought it wasn't quite enough, I'm going to put some black on this photo. And I think that this really helps to make this one pop out by having all of those extra mats to it. And also I'm going to pop it up on some foam squares. Because this is really the sort of the important photo, I guess you could say. This is her with her scholarship that she won and a trophy that she won and her medals. So it's sort of the, the highlight picture. And I also, I was really struggling with the fact that the picture has this really sort of awful yellow tinge to it. Um, I took it in a hotel room and it was late at night after we were done with, with the competition. And so, yeah, it, it's not the best photo. The coloring is really off. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I could get lots of color around it to kind of offset that yucky yellow. <laughs> so I'm just going to use some of these cards for a little bit of matting. I want to make sure that I have some solid colors on that striped paper because the black is so solid. And the, the kit came with some stickers, so here I'm just going to pull some of those off too. I really like that dancer who's doing a jeté, but I don't have anywhere to put her, so I'll definitely have to make another layout with the leftover bits of this collection. And so on the back of the word paper is all of these circles, and I thought that it would be fun to use them instead of the triangles from the sketch. So I'm just going to fuss around with them a little bit and basically put them in the same places as those triangles, but spread across the two pages instead of um, just on the one. So I sort of hit all of those key spots. And I just want to make sure I have a few of each color or at least one of each color on each little cluster of circles. And I'm going to pop some up just, again, because it's fun. Why not? I feel like this layout is so busy, <laughs> but that's okay because there's a lot going on with it. But I think, you know, it kind of tells a story and we had such a great time that it's uh, just a really fun layout. It's okay to do busy every once in a while. So popping up some of those circles just adds a little bit. Um, yeah, all the layers, just it all gives you lots of interesting things for your eye to look at. So you can see I'm just popping those all down. And I cut the, I wanted the solid teal color from that square and then I thought, you know what? That saying is kind of cute too, so I'm going to find a place for it. It was definitely a really great dance competition, I have to say. Um, it's the first time that we've gone to this one as a studio, and so we didn't quite know what to expect, and I think it surpassed most of our expectations. Except that we originally had signed up um, when it was a four day competition. So it should have just been Monday or sorry, Monday, no, Thursday to Sunday. Uh, and suddenly we were told just a couple weeks before it actually started that it was being pushed or expanded from Wednesday to the following Tuesday. So thankfully we didn't have to be there for seven days, but there are some of our dancers who did. Um, because Edmonton is a few hours away, um, far enough away that you wouldn't want to do day trips, uh, plus all the dancing. So yeah, it was, other than that, <laughs> it was a bit of a shock, but, uh, other than that, it was a really awesome competition and Kaylin did really well. So 
yeah, I think this layout definitely reflects how much fun we had. I popped that little cutout um, from the, the, oh my goodness, the little cutout from the card that I had cut out and I put it on top of another one and that gives me a little journaling spot. And then I found another card that has all of these sayings and I thought instead of an official title and an official subtitle like is in the sketch, I'm going to put these little sayings in each of my circle clusters. So it's, they say things like, I dance to breathe, I dance to live, I dance to be me, and I dance to be free, which definitely for my daughter, those are all reasons that she dances. And I'll put these cute little hearts, one in each cluster as well. I used up a fair bit of stickers. I'm pretty, pretty proud of that. And quite a few of the, the cards. I really like them. I'm glad that I have a bunch left. And now I just want to do a sketchy line in white on the black. And of course my Signo ball pen is not working. Um, I think it's starting to dry out. It might be on its last legs. But I'm determined to make it work at least for this layout. So I fight with it a little bit, but I get it working pretty well. So I'm going to do white on the black side, and then I'll do black on the colorful side. And again, that's just a way to kind of tie the two, the two pages together. And I think they work really well together. Um, I don't know that you have to have two page layouts that are perfect mirrors of each other or that are sort of one continuous flow. I think there's enough elements on these two pages that you can definitely tell that they are the same layout. And that's it. That is my interpretation of the sketch. So definitely check down below. I'm going to list all of the other ladies and their links. Please go find their versions of the sketch because you're going to love what they're doing. And if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. Until next month, Thanks everyone for watching. Talk to you later. Happy scrapping. Bye.